Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Caiaphas Kane here, my Jedi Knight. Here in the red light sector of Nar Shaddaa. When we last left off, we were helping clean out a group of... One of the local gangs, I should say, known as the Bleeders. Also looking into some Imperial project to replace some Republic naval officers with some of their own sleeper agents but we are here now to try and locate the main lab of the power god project so let's answer our hollow communicator and see if the sis have come up with a plan i'm in the red light sector you have a plan for finding that main lab if the Power Guard facility has a dedicated reactor, it's immune to energy fluctuations affecting the power grid. My team is monitoring energy readings in that sector. All you have to do is cause some fluctuations. Applying a lightsaber to the right power conduits ought to do the trick. I assume you have some targets in mind. Sending coordinates to key power conduits. Hit them all, and we'll get a fix on that Power Guard main lab. And be careful. The red light sector may look civilized, but it's nothing of the sort. Riken out. Okay, so we're going to try and triangulate the position of the lab by hitting certain conduits. Sounds good. In fact, there's one down along this way. Take our lightsaber. I'm sure the huddle puts will send someone to do some maintenance eventually. While we're over here, could we look into doing that heroic mission? I suppose we could. Let's have a look at the terminal, see what it's all about. This is a travel advisory notice from the Republic Embassy. To all Republic citizens in the red light sector, be advised the Gauntlet Criminal Gang has set up a death duel tournament in the back alleys. Poor refugees are running the gang's ordeal for credit rewards. The Gauntlet Gang is broadcasting hollows of these fights. So far, no refugee has survived to collect a prize. The Hood Cartel refuses to intervene in this despicable entertainment. They probably enjoy it. All tourists should avoid the area, but trained Republic agents are encouraged to end the gauntlet's activities by destroying its hollow recording equipment and driving off the gangsters. So yeah, destroy any hollow recording equipment, any active hollow cameras, and actually rescue some of the refugees in the area. Why don't we go do that now, and then we'll backtrack to the other two power conduits. Now, I believe there is a bonus to deal or kill so many of the Gauntlet gang. We have the hollow cameras. Hollow recording equipment in the crates. We can see some refugees being held here. Oh, what the hell was that? There was a screen screen jump there for a moment. There, good as new. Yeah. 
It's a bonus to defeat 30 of the Gauntlet Gang. That's a lot. Ow! Watch out for these maulers and their knockback attacks. Ah, there's like some large group of the gang here. That's actually very useful. It's one good way to get the bonus mission complete more quickly. Find large groups of weaker enemies. Oh! We have a fellow shadow here. seem to be doing well. Another large group of enemies. Eyes open for more of these hollow cameras. Are we back where we started? Um, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe not. There, good as new. Saved all the refugees we need to save. Just need to deal with one more. Sorry. Three more hollow cameras. And one more set of hollow recording equipment. Fine. 
find the exit. Uh, we're also looking for one more camera, which is in an ideal spot. You'll do. Ah, there's one more thing we need to do. Destroy the broadcast terminal and defeat the shot caller. Oh, bloody hell. A little bit of lag there. Oh, it's still there. Give it a moment. There you go. That's better. So to get the unleashed armor set. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Right, get ourselves back over to Club Euphora now. And then from there we're heading west. But you are two power conduit. That last power conduit is next to that security chest we saw. In fact, it is. Ah. Oh well, so be it. Place that is not going to allow us to be disturbed. Uh, this will do, I suppose. Only one building in the sector maintained a steady energy supply when you disrupted those power conduits. That has to be the main lab. Sending coordinates now. Aside from Agent Galen and the test subjects, we have no idea what you'll face in there. How will you play this? I'll give the enemy an opportunity to surrender. If they don't take it, that's their problem. With luck, you'll catch the opposition off guard. You're in for a hell of a fight. Here goes nothing. Contact me when it's done. Riken out. Okay. Into the main lab. Right.
bloody hell. A little bit of a uh, movement lag at the moment. our way through. Okay, this is similar to the quarantine zone. Only this was originally a Republic operation. We've been waiting for you, Jedi. Darth Angrel told me you defeated Watcher One and Inquisitor Farav. Impressive. Explains why you're not here. Scared, huh? You soldiers, lay down your weapons. I promise you'll be treated fairly. More than you deserve. You killed good men at that recruitment center. Loyal soldiers. The best. They gave me no choice. I'd rather have captured them alive. Typical Jedi. Slaughter a room full of men and then apologize for it. I promised Commander Grawl he could execute you personally. And I left him a few gifts to help. Mark One power guards, not as destructive as the later models I possess, but quick to assemble and quite malleable. It took nothing to wipe their useless minds and program them to serve me. You captured a Republic agent. What have you done with him? Something extraordinary. But you won't live to see it. Kill the Jedi. Cut out the Padawan's tongue and bring it to me. The tongue or the Padawan? So those were some of the power guard. Mark 1, so I'm guessing there are later models like Lord Sadik mentioned. Hmm. He has got Agent Gale and he's done something to him. Something extraordinary. What that means for a Sith, I don't really want to know. We're too late, Riken. Darth Angrel's apprentice raided the lab. There's nothing left here. I found an encrypted data pad on an Imperial officer. It looks important. It may have information on where the enemies move to. Bring the data pad back to headquarters. My slicers will crack the decryption. We'll have to move fast to stop the enemy. Hurry. Okay, sounds good. Get ourselves back over to the promenade then.
Oh. Yes. These Mark II power guard, they look almost normal. Like men in this power armor. Good as new. They're here. Let's find out what's happened downstairs. Frankens down. More agents down in the other rooms as well. I warned him. I told Raikin this base was compromised. Chief's dead. They're all dead. What, what were those things? like what I fought at the main lab, but more powerful. You kept us out of the loop, hid the power guard facility, never told us about these weapons. We stayed, supported your mission when we should have evacuated. These deaths are on you. Lashing out at me isn't useful. We need to confront this together. With Raikin dead, I'm acting bureau chief. This operation's over. Agent Diaz, we're leaving now. Sorry, friend, but you're on your own. Chief Riken promised to unlock these Imperial files. Then take it up with him. His body's over there. Wait a minute, this Jedi is the only person who can stop those things. I gave you an order, Agent. And I lost my hearing during the fight. Give me the data pad. I'll do my best. Decryption complete. The enemy took everything from the power guard lab to a fallback position. I recognize these coordinates. An Imperial-controlled factory on the industrial level. The Sith must be churning out new power guards from that location. Well, that factory has all the weapons, armor, and shields they'd need to do it. You have your information. The rest is up to you. This is a chance to strike back at the people who killed your men. I have no intention of winding up like them. Sir, I recommend we inform General Varsuthra. We need immediate reinforcements. I've marked the enemy's fallback position. Good luck down there. Let's go, Agent Diaz. And the special agent buckles under pressure. <sighs> oh well. Down to us. At least one of the agents is willing to be helpful. And level 43. Hey, it looks like we learned two new abilities there. And another robe. Mm. I think we saw this armor set. It was available from the specialty vendor, only it was going to cost quite a few credits to purchase it. Ah, oh well, this is a perfect place to take a break once again, because it seems it's all leading us now to the industrial sector. We'll get ourselves in a place to uh, park ourselves. And then we'll have a look at both, I suppose, the kinetic combat and infiltration discipline trees. We do have a bit of mail. We'll have a look at that mail at the beginning of the next part. here once again so level 43 what does that get us we have 
Force Synergy. Which is a passive which doesn't appear, appear on the ability tree. Critical hits with force attacks increase your melee critical chance by 10%. Sorry, by 5% for 10 seconds. Right. Okay. I mean, that's handy. Thanks. We also gain another passive, Kinetic Bulwark. When you consume a charge of your Kinetic Ward, it increases your shield absorption by 1%. This can stack up to 10 times. This effect lasts for 20 seconds or until Kinetic Ward is reactivated. In addition, when shielding an attack while Kinetic Ward is active, it has a 20% chance to restore a charge and increase its active duration. Okay, so a Kinetic Ward has a chance to last longer. And it is going to actively boost our shield absorption making it migrate more damage handy we also get to choose either two one of two passives or an instant ability we have light forces each time you deal damage to a target you have mind controlled you restore two force and restore Sorry, and heal for 2% of your maximum health. Each time you deal damage to a target, you've mind controlled. I mean, that would be a decent, like, that's like a semi decent healing ability because you could mass mind control and then just use maybe Force Breach, Whirling Blow, and Cascading Debris and just start restoring health. That would actually be pretty decent for. I mean, I suppose it would be good in a smaller... It's good for group content. Less so for 1v1 battles. But it's still a minor amount of healing that you wouldn't get otherwise. And considering we can single target Taunt every 15 seconds. That's... Yeah, it's not bad. We have Potent Defense, the other passive. Consuming a charge of Force Potency grants you and nearby ally allies Potent Defense, increasing damage reduction by 5% per stack. Potent Defense stacks up to three times. Okay, that's good, but especially because it gives it to other players, but I'm sort of liking the extra heals. It just means we're going to have to remember to use mind control and mass mind control a bit more often, maybe. And then the instant ability is battle readiness. Ready yourself with the force. Immediately restores 15% of your maximum health and increases your damage reduction. While active... It increases your combat technique by 50% and a chance to trigger combat technique by 25. Increases the damage of our combat technique, which is our minor internal damage. Increases the chance of our combat technique. So rather than 50%, it gives a 75% chance. And it also gives a small heal. 15% maximum health restoration is quite nice. How long does the damage reduction last? Fifteen seconds. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it'd be easier just to push one button than having to constantly remember to push two, but... We'll see. And if we look at the infiltration... 
I know this might be boring. <laughs> I understand. Um, these are better gloves. Yeah, that's fine. We still gained force synergy. We gained profundity. Your shadow technique restores nine force over nine seconds when it deals damage. In addition, Whirling Blow and Cleaving Cut build charges of clairvoyance. So we can use Whirling Blade to also make our project. Automatically trigger shadow technique. Which gives us more breaching shadows. And also when we use force breach, it causes our target to become vulnerable. Vulnerable targets take 5% more damage from force attacks. Okay. Again, we have battle readiness. That's a bit more useful for shadow technique. Basically gives us a 100% chance to gather shadow techniques. It also gives us a heal. We have Farsight Instruments. Critically hitting with Clairvoyant Strike or a direct force attack generates 10 force and heals you for 1% of your maximum health. That's pretty good. Or we can have critical auger. Force spending melee attacks now benefit from force potency. Right. Okay, so we can basically, rather than using project with force potency and force breach, we could use things like vaulting slash and shadow strike. Hard to say. I guess we'll probably keep with the um, Farsight instruments for now, but I'll have to think about that for later. For now, we'll take a break once again. So we're going to have to remember... What was... There was an ability earlier about bringing down... The cooldown of mass mind control. Whenever you consume a charge of kinetic ward. It might be worthwhile grabbing the gloom ward now then. So that we can cast mast mind control more often. Therefore get the benefit of the... Light forces heal. Yeah, maybe. Either way, we'll have a think about that. But we'll take a break. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.